let's make a delicious healthy side dish from baby spinach called shikumchi muchim or seasoned spinach. Start with some boiling water and then blanch your baby spinach. You only need to blanch for about a minute, that way we keep all the vitamins and the color is great. You might have to do it in batches if you're using a lot like I am. Once it's cooked for a minute, then put it in some cold water to stop the cooking process. Now that it's done, start trimming the ends off. Now that we've trimmed all the ends off, it's time to squeeze out as much moisture as we can. Once we've given the spinach a good squeeze, it's time to get our seasonings ready. We've got some garlic, chili powder, low sodium soy sauce, sesame seeds and sesame oil, and a green onion. Cut up your spinach just a little bit. Cut up three or four cloves of garlic. I'm using six here because I really love garlic but you can absolutely adjust it to your own taste. It doesn't really matter what order you put the ingredients in, it's all gonna get mixed up anyway. Slice up your onion pretty thinly. Now we can toss in our other ingredients. I'm starting with one tablespoon of sesame oil. Half to one tablespoon of chili flakes. Two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, or soy sauce if you like. And I'm using one tablespoon of sesame seeds, but you can use as much or as little as you like. Now mix it until everything is incorporated and evenly spread. Some people add a half teaspoon of salt, but I'm trying to lower my sodium intake, so I haven't added it. I'm also using low sodium soy sauce, but feel free to use regular soy sauce. Seasoned spinach should keep for about a week in your fridge. There you have it, seasoned spinach. Eat it as a side dish with your favorite Korean food or put it in some bibimbap. Enjoy!